Paul Ambulance has been part of Kern County since 1971 and has about 460 employees, but officials say that number is simply not enough to fully meet the community's needs. During this week's Board of Supervisors meeting, Hall Ambulance representatives addressed the staffing challenges. Here's 23 ABC's Ruby Rivera. It's ambulances like these that are the bridge between life and death in most cases. But with the lack of EMTs in Kern County, Hall Ambulance has gotten creative with the way they recruit individuals. Chief Officer for Hall Ambulance, John Surface, explains one of their more successful tactics. There's not enough paramedics in the program um, at any of the local colleges, so we have our own program. Through a 15-year partnership with Bakersfield College, Harvey L. Hall Academy was created as a way to support people who want to become EMTs or paramedics. But Hall Ambulance Chief Operating Officer John Surface says right now, finding people who want to be first responders is a challenge. It's tough to find a paramedic now and get them to come to work for you. The number of hired EMTs rose between 2018 and 2021. However, they saw a drop in 2022 with only 24 EMTs hired. The number of graduates have also dropped, only seven in 2021 and two in 2022. While trying to recruit more employees, Hall Ambulance says it had to go over budget to support the workers they currently had. Surface says Hall had a payroll budget of $26 million, but spent roughly an additional $7 million on hours alone. A staffing agency, um, EMTs and paramedics, were, were transferred to us. So far, we've purchased over 28,000 hours um, of EMT and paramedic time. To combat the lack of new employees, Hall says it increased wages in January by 6.5%, created a massive social media promotional campaign, conducted job fairs for both high school and college students and put a bigger emphasis on EMT's mental health. I don't care who the first responder is, they are seeing things and hearing things that stick with them and, and, and hurt. And, uh, you know, we've got a huge commitment to try and um, keep our employees healthy and keep them working. Those who are interested in becoming an EMT or paramedic can register for classes. Visit our website for more information. Applications are accepted all year round, but applicants will also have to complete a field internship before being accepted into the program. In Bakersfield, Ruby Rivera, 23ABC News, connecting you.